just have a look at this picture. This is your life right now. This is you. This is your 11th backlog because you were leaving a lot of topics in 11th. That's why this has got really fat, obese. And this is your 12th class that is looking at you like this. That please, right now, study me. Don't waste time right now. And you are confused whether to do backlogs or to do class 12. You are stuck between these two things, right? So how to solve this thing? I'm going to tell you in this video. Because students, class 11th is very, very important for you. Why this is so important? Because we know that when the base is not strong, when the foundation is not strong, the building will collapse. That's why our foundation has to be really strong. Okay? For that, what are the mistakes that is usually done by the students? First is there are so many backlogs, right? And we are weak in some of the topics. That is the reason there are so many backlogs. We have just skipped some topics, right? Then what we do, we start our 12th class without clearing the basics, right? Then our class 12th is also not clear now, right? We, are weak, we were weak in class 11, now we are also weak in class 12. Now when you start giving the mock test, you realize that, okay, I'm not able to perform well in the mock test, right? That's where you get demotivated. Then you realize that, okay, I have to make a, my basics strong. Sometimes you pick class 11, sometimes you pick class 12. There is no linkage between class 11th and class 12 the way you are picking it right hence you end up wasting a lot of time here right jumping from class 11th and 12th right and that is the reason right so many students right even though so much hard work they do they end up failing right so today i'm going to tell you what exactly you have to do from class 11th if you are starting this particular topic of class 12th right Full detail I have given you in this video regarding the chapters of class 11th and class 12th. So before starting the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you are going to get amazing, amazing content on this channel, right? So let us start this without wasting any time here. First thing is when you want to start class 12th solution, this is about class 12th, this is the section of class 11th. Class 12 solution chapter, your base of some basic concepts of chemistry should be full-fledged clear. That means molarity, molality, stoichiometry, all these things should be completely clear. How to apply stoichiometry in the mole concept, right? That should be all the concentration terms should be on your tips, right? Then we'll go for solution chapters, right? Next, if you want to start electrochemistry, then firstly, class 11th redox reaction should be on your tips. Usually we skip balancing of reaction, but you should know at least one method of balancing of reaction because sometimes in the reaction, not only in electrochemistry, in other sections of chemistry as well, balancing of reaction is needed, right? So balancing of reaction, oxidation, reduction, N factor calculation, most important that you should know before starting electrochemistry, right? Then we have inorganic and organic chemistry. Now, when you are starting class 12th in organic and organic chemistry, there is a very important thing that we usually ignore that is the electronic configuration. For that, you should obviously know the atoms, the atomic numbers also. Then, how to fill the electronic configuration that is there in the quantum numbers, that also you should know, right? All the exceptional electronic configuration also you should know so that you are able to understand the concepts like hybridization, all these concepts of inorganic chemistry and this hybridization concept is also applied in organic chemistry. So, all these things are interrelated to each other, right? Then, for organic chemistry, I told you one thing is hybridization that is there, right? We usually, we think that inorganic chemistry is hybridization, organic chemistry, where we use hybridization in that. But uh, all the reactions that you see if you want to understand the core concept of the mechanism then you should know hybridization in detail right then for complete organic chemistry this is the base that we have in class 11 that is inductive effect resonance hyperconjugation aromaticity all the electron displacement effects then there is rearrangement of carbocation ring expansion and ring contraction and also tautomerism is very important here because that is used in one reaction that is put off and some reactions it is used right now 
Totemism, the optical totemism is also isomerism, and from isomerism, optically active isomers that is also there in haloalkenes, halorenes. So, if you study before only, it will be easy for you to understand that in haloalkenes and halorenes, right? And uh, that is also there in bi molecules as well, epimers, uh, all these things. So, that is why understand isomers. Uh, before starting by molecules, the diastereomers and enantiomer that will be beneficial for you, right? Now, if you want to study coordination chemistry, you want to start coordination, go through hybridization first. Hybridization should be on your tips because the theory is kind of similar. The way we fill the electrons is also kind of similar, right? And we know that before starting the hybridization, electronic configuration is must. That is there in structure of atoms. So, that is how it is linked, right? Now, for organic chemistry, why chemical bonding is so important? Because in chemical bonding, we get to know about sigma bonds, pi bonds, how molecules are formed. That's why organic chemistry, when we get into detail of organic chemistry, these, how atoms form molecules is very important to visualize that thing in the mechanisms, right? Now, when you talk about chemical kinetics and electrochemistry, See, very important thing, actually I would say chemical kinetics is still an independent chapter, right? If let's say you don't have good basics of class 11, you want to start some chapter, I can advise you that you can start with chemical kinetics still, right? But better will be before that you start equilibrium and before this you start thermodynamics. Why I am telling you this? Because there are so many formulas in which delta G, especially in uh, electrochemistry, you will see the usage of Kc and delta G in the formulas. In chemical kinetics, you should know equilibrium so that you don't get confused in rate, reaction and equilibrium constant, right? That you should know, right? But there is no very direct link, right? You can still understand chemical kinetics, right? Now, this is very important. Before starting, because P block, usually half of P block, see it is in 11th class, half of this is in 12th class. Right. So usually students skip because uh, what happens we want to do throughout the P block, the P block we want to uh, start till the end we want to do it in one go. Right. Some students will skip in class 11. So I would advise you before starting block chemistry you can also write here P block as well. Right. Before starting that periodic classification chapter periodic table should be on your tips. Right. When I talk about periodic table, I am talking about full periodic table. Yes, full periodic table should be on your tips from rows, groups, everything should be on your tips. The atomic number, the exceptional electronic configurations. Then all these general trends of electron gain enthalpy, atomic radii, electronegativity, ionization enthalpy, electron affinity, these should be on your tip so that you are able to understand the exceptional electronic configurations here exceptional trends here right and you know what is so important here once you understand periodic table you know the atoms you know the atomic number only then you can understand the electronic configuration only then you will be able to understand hybridization then organic chemistry that is how these things are completely interlinked to each other right that's why chemistry can become really really easy for you it can become really tough for you depending upon what is your approach towards chemistry, right? So now students, you can see this in the live section here as well, right? So I have taken, if you want to clear your basics, I have taken live here for basics, right? You can see physical chemistry basics, you will see inorganic chemistry basics, same. You will see organic chemistry basics as well, right? So all these things I have already covered, right? And I'm going to start like full fledged in detail, I'm going to start class 11th, right? That will be there on the YouTube channel. Two classes will provide you here for now because rest of the things we have already started in our Sigma batch. Yes, our Sigma batch has already started. You can see this here, right? Click on here and you will see the Sigma batch here. Just give me a second. Right. Okay. That is the Sigma batch. What we have for you in this dedicatedly, we are taking lectures, right? Full classes are going on from right now. Students are studying there. What we are providing you in this, we are providing you the live classes, right? And that is also there on YouTube. Then what is the difference? Why should I pay, ma'am? Why should I pay? Right. 
so reason you should pay is because on youtube you know that uh, it's not like classes will be like i i want to solve your doubt it's not like i don't want to solve your doubt but on youtube right what happens is when you ask me your doubts right i am like writing on the blackboard so i am not able to see your doubts only that's why your doubts remain unanswered right this is what pinches us right that is why your selection right is not there right so that is the reason for that doubts you should have proper batch in that batch we are providing you a class teacher as well apart from that teacher the class teacher is going to answer your doubt if you are not happy with the answer of the class teacher that class teacher is going to inform the teacher to answer your doubt in the class itself right then ma'am i want ma'am ma ma'am i like ma'am for example i had my class or ma'am i had school whatever is the reason right ma'am i was on some function ma'am i missed the live classes now what to do now if you missed your live class you can watch the replay version in the replay version you can ask the doubts or not ma'am how can i ask the doubt in replay version yes you can ask the doubt in replay version so that is the best part of vedantu that we think about students that we know that if you have missed the classes it's not like you are gone right in the class if you are there there will be some doubts you will have that's why in the class itself and up outside the class also that means in the replay version also you can ask your doubts right yes you can ask your doubts right okay so that is there we are providing you a mock test right every 15 days there will be mock test why mock tests are so important because if you don't have let's say ma'am we don't have mock tests right i'll just show you that here right let's say ma'am we don't have any mock test what will happen here thing that will happen is you will think that okay i am so good i am so good i am so good or maybe i am not that good what will happen your mock test is actually the mirror it will tell you that you are going on a right way or you are going on a wrong way right so that is why every 15 day you don't have to do mock test last 3 months that is frequency of mock test should increase but you should start giving the mock test from now only right that will be there in the batch and you will see you can compare yourself with the other peers as well uh, am i above them am i below them how much work i have to do more there will be competitiveness right within you then ma'am if for example ma'am there is no mock test on one sunday and i still want to give some test then there are all india test series 40 part and full syllabus test we are providing you here now ma'am okay that is the test ma'am what about modules ma'am every coaching provides a module so here we have satva modules for you in which previous year questions level 1 to level 4 kind of questions from 1 to 1 level that will be given to you and you know what is the best part that in the batch itself if let's say i am taking some topic let's say nurse equation so i give you i'll tick those uh, questions for you that okay these are the 10 questions that you should do for your homework out of the tatva modules only i'll solve some questions in front of you so that you're able to understand right so all these practice things and let's say you want to have an extra class of only question practice that will be there in the batch right so all these in fact previous year question so that is i don't even need to say that right that will definitely be there right so all these things we are providing you in that batch so students do join in the batch right if you want to see that ma'am how you will teach right so basically uh, one chapter will be divided into five to like uh, let's say structure of atom is having 10 classes right so it is there in the batch so you can yourself imagine that 10 classes structure of atom how much detail we are going to teach you that right so in a very highly detailed manner we are going to teach you that right so students if you actually want to save your ear then do do join in the batch and if you want to see my teaching style everything you can uh, watch my lectures on youtube i'm going to take structure of atom i'm thinking no no i'm going to i'm going to take mole concept and periodic classification on this channel right you can see this week the classes will be live i'll share you the link of those classes on this telegram channel you can see this here right you can see this here this is the telegram channel this is my insta handle right so you can see the telegram channel i'll share you my uh, uh, cl uh, classes link so that you are able to understand right what 
kind of uh, teaching we have for you right what kind of dedication we have for you and if you have any 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 doubt regarding sigma match you can just let us know in the comment section we will definitely definitely answer right link is there in the description box ma'am we are in the description box you click on this video let's say i have this last video where i have given you the action plan so you can see here wait a minute so you can see here that it is there right you can see here sigma j batch 2026 you can click on here and that is your sigma j batch right okay that is at 499 it was earlier at 399 now the prices have increased right that's why i'm telling you the prices are going to increase only after this right so don't uh, be late right what you are doing is you are missing the lectures and the price is obviously going to increase right because the seats are limited here right okay so uh, be a part of this batch right right now only don't even miss a single lecture because that is not beneficial for you right okay then students bye bye take care i am waiting for you in the comment section that is are you are you let me know in the chat box are you ready for are you ready for what ma'am for dance ma'am for party ma'am no for j2026 are you ready for j2026 or not let me know in the comment section right and also let me know your class whether you are in 11th class 12th class or you are a dropper right and let me know in the chat box comment section whether you are ready for j2026 with full energy or not till then bye bye take care and don't forget to hit the like button bye bye